I would go as far to say just to hold your pencil sharpener securely if you didn't want to screw it down I mean you don't even have to screw your vise down to the bench right there and it'll do this job right here uh, but it's uh, it justifies uh, ha having a one of my uh, it's one of Wilton's you know what I mean everybody's uh, it's a name brand thing and you can use your Wilton vise 7 inch model 5200 I'll blaze the number on it if y'all keeping score but the pencil sharpener Apex it's a giant the, the point is that you, you should maintain your writing instruments in a, uh, a sharp condition and uh, uh oh man I thought sure that that, that Wilton would would hold at it I think I think that right there was what you call operator. If y'all learn anything at all out of this video right here, let that be it. When you position your pencil sharpener in there, uh, visualize this right here. If we was looking at it that way, and I'll show it to you. That way, on uh, it's plumb crossways. Make sure that your pencil sharpener is plumb crossways in these vice jaws right here, and then snug her down. You know, hand tight her a little more. And, uh, oh, that's one of them plastic pencils right there, but. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Uh, and I don't, I don't expect much success with that pencil. Oh, yeah, look at her. That's what I'm talking about. It just proves that a Wilton vice is the vice to use every time. Every time. It, it, this is a manual model right here, uh, nice, even centered up right there. That's, uh, you know, if y'all if y'all pencil collecting, that's that's Ben Davis Auto Parts right there, Incorporated. Napa is the place to buy. East Washington Street up there in Indianapolis, Indiana is where it's from. It's got a new racer on it right there, harder than a rock. You know, you just well as not have a racer in to have a racer like that right there because you're going to attempt to use it. That's the problem. You know what I mean? And, and then your drawing is all scrubbed out wherever you used it at. Oh yeah, that's a little skinny pencil right there. Perfect. Uh, and, and I'm just gonna go ahead. It, it, don't, it don't have no race on the other end, so I'm gonna double sharpen that right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 another, another thing right there. You know, if y'all if y'all keep in count, I majored in I don't remember what grade it was now. Uh, fifth or sixth, I majored in pencil sharpening. Uh, the teacher let me sharpen. It. I, what, 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 what would happen? There would be such a disruption. Usually, I, I tell you what, usually it ended up in a fist fight there. Uh, that, uh, man, uh, it was a little one room school there, and, and most of the time, them Griffey boys, it was two of them, uh, Bige and Jasper. Little bitty fellers, I mean, they were skin and bones, family poorer than dirt, I'm telling the truth. Believe me, and they know that, you know what I mean, it, it, would, be, it would be no, it, it would be no uh, surprising now to me, to me tell it out loud. But them boys would jump on me up there at the pencil sharpener. And, uh, I mean, it would be a scuffle there by the stove, you know. Great big old stove in that school room. But because they jumped on me, ganged up to both of them, was going to whoop me, I hadn't done nothing, except I had, I don't remember now, I don't know what happened. I, I, I wasn't guilty in the situation. Most time I was, but it wasn't at that point. So the teacher elected me, being that I was the, being that I was set up on by two ruffians, pencil that in. And they was ruffians in the first degree. Oh, I like them boys. And now I, uh, I have fondest memories of them Griffey boys. And uh, leave a comment down there, you know. I mean, surely you're thinking something. So I majored. Uh, the teacher would let me go around. She made everybody sit down at their desk. 
And then I went, I was, when it come time for sharpen your pencils, everybody got a new pencil pencil nib at the same time. And and after about a week, most times she rotated it, somebody different every day, at, at a certain time during the day. Uh, morning and evening, we could go to the pencil sharpener and bring our own pencil sharp pencil uh, lead right there to, to perfection as we wanted it. So most of the time, the, and if I remember right, you know, coming back to me, the reason that we were scuffling there, if it any matter to you, was I think it was it involved that cold stove. It was a big old potbelly stove. It was bigger than me. It was a real tall, a big stove. But you could lay a steel ball. It had a ring around the bottom down there. And you could lay a steel ball on there, and it would get... Uh, I've heard other people do it. Now, this, this ain't no original idea, but you could put that steel ball there and get that thing hot. And you could uh, put, it in a, put it in a handkerchief or something, you know, pick it up and then walk by your buddy over there and drop it off to him and he got a bare hand you know what I mean he'll hold it against you for at least a week or more you know a hot steel ball in the palm of your hand you know I mean you're going to raise a ruckus in that schoolroom. I'm telling you the way it is so you know just a little something from here by let's say by vice side you know what I mean uh, you know, I ain't much on brands, but all I'm going to say, hey, y'all come on back next week. We'll put some insulation up by then.